2016. Yeah, yeah. So I was uh, curious, what do you need to do to qualify yeah. actually yeah. for it? Well, they haven't had the official qualifying is not has not been released yet. The criteria has not been released yet. But um, basically, there's a minimum uh, criteria of being in the top. You know the world ranking that you look up. Mm -hmm. You know. You have to be at least one top 140 in there. 140? That's the minimum, minimum. Okay. That doesn't mean you're going. Yeah. So then, so for me, I have to win my country a, a place. Mm -hmm. So Jordan has to win a place. So, so for Great Britain, for example, mm -hmm. the more people they have higher up in the, in the ranking, the mm -hmm. more spots they're going to get. Mm -hmm. So it's quite complicated, but so... Britain will get three because they've got a lot of athletes high up. Yeah. Um, the and next, the maximum is three. Yeah, maximum is three. Yeah. Okay. And um, there's there's only fifty five. Last time there's only fifty five on the start okay. start list. So it's quite it's very selective and very difficult. So can one athlete like you? Win yeah. So then some get two. Country. Some get one. So say so Japan got two. Mm -hmm. um, like Hungary probably got two. Some countries like that and then China got one Kaz um, not Kazakhstan because they didn't do it but a few would get one mm -hmm. and then those countries are the ones that are getting like so for me there was either I qualified through the Olympic ranking which is which you qualify to get the points by a minimum of a continental championship mm -hmm. world cup or higher so the world series or the grand final yeah. so the continental cups which is what I've done two of now they don't count towards that, but they count towards the world ranking, which is another way of qualifying, is mm -hmm. by being the highest ranked in your continent. So I'll be the Asian one. Okay. Um, so my last time I was trying to be the highest ranked in Asia, who hadn't qualified through the other, through the Olympic ranking. Yeah. So Japan, Korea, they qualified through Olympic ranking because they've done World Cups and okay. everything. they've got high up that and they yeah. win their own spots. And now this time I'm going to have to choose between the two. Mm -hmm. So do I do the Continental Cups, be the best in Asia, and obviously World Cups counts towards that and everything, mm -hmm. or do I go for the, you know, the almost, it's, it, it's, this, it should be harder, but in a way, to get the points in World Cups is almost sometimes easier. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's just a choice I have to make this okay. time, but... But then again, the, the criteria might have changed. And yeah, yeah. Okay, so do, there might do be more spots even. Every you know. time? Or off, do they change it all? Well, I didn't really look at it for 2008, so I wouldn't know. I'd never looked, so. Yeah. But they can do what they want, really. Yeah. So. But hopefully, it's something similar. Or, yeah. But then there's, there's, one, there's one wild card, or two wild card spots as well. Mm -hmm. So we kind of applied for it last time, but it wasn't really. Jordan weren't very forthcoming in helping with it because I don't think they knew how to do it, how to apply, how to really get it through. Yeah. So that's called an Olympic Partite Commission. No. Olympic Commission. Oh, I don't know something yeah. tripartite something. Okay. So they're basically a, a, a committee come together and they decide on one athlete who hasn't qualified who. From a, from a developing country or somewhere okay. like that. Yeah. <clears throat> so the first Arab in the Olympics was did it through that wild card. His name is Omar Tayaro from Syria. Oh, okay, yes, I yeah. saw that. So but he's Spanish as well, so he's, yeah. he was Spanish. He mm -hmm. changed to Syria for the qualifying period in the Olympics, and then he, he's gone back to Spain now. Oh, okay, so, oh, interesting. Yeah. Is well, I find that, uh, well, first of all, good luck for <laughs> qualifying. Yeah. I, I hope you'll, you'll make it. <laughs> I'm sure I have a great. much better chance this time because I know what I'm doing this time. Yeah. And I'm starting in a better position than I was before. I mm. probably started in maybe two, three hundred in the, in the world, or not even that, maybe, mm. the last time. And I wasn't, I didn't have in my head what I really needed to do. So yeah. when the qualifying comes out this time, I'll do what it says and I'll go down one route. Right. And just yeah, put everything into it. Yeah, but since you mentioned Omar Tayar, I don't know Tayar or Tayar. Tayar, yeah, but yeah. Um, 
Um, so he is Spanish, or Syrian Spanish. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You're Jordanian British. Yeah. yeah. And if you go like that, you go on like that. There are many. I mean, the better athletes and triathletes are specifically are mixed. Yeah. There is uh, Faris as Sultan. Yeah. The yeah. German Arab. Arab. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and uh, there are uh, other Omar Noor even. Omar Noor is. I don't know if he's mixed. But certainly lived, he lived yeah. outside of Egypt. So he was born in Switzerland. Um, I don't know how much time he spent in Egypt. But yeah, yeah. So certainly yeah, he, lived, he lives in America now. So right, yeah. in Boulder, Colorado. That's why I was Yeah, well, he was earlier. brought up in Washington, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Actually where I'm racing, close to where I'm racing, Columbia. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and he lives in Boulder now for yeah. training and everything. Yeah. So there must be something about uh, maybe, yeah. this combination. Mixing genes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Arab European. Yeah, maybe, yeah. I think so is a good Like one. me as I well. Think it's a good me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And my daughter. So your, mom, the camera. your mom's uh, German. German, yeah. 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 Okay. So do you have two passports? or? No, just one. You should. You just a German one. It's good, yeah. it's good to have two. My mother is German too. Oh, so, okay. So I mix two. Oh, right. I'm, I'm only a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jordanian German. Yeah, yeah. So do you have two passports? Or? I do, yeah. but uh, I need to renew my Jordanian. Yeah. I haven't well, you don't use it a lot anyway. I haven't used it for. I have many mine everywhere years. with me, but. Mm. And, you know, it's in date, but I've never used it to travel. The only time I used it was when I went to Oman with the team for the Asian Games. But. Yeah. Otherwise, it's, you need visas for everywhere, so... Mm -hmm.